Hey guys, welcome back to the Freedom Homestead Kitchen. I'm Tangie, and today I wanna to show you really quickly how I vacuum seal dried goods. Um, I shared with you guys a really awesome haul that I had this week. I went to the Amish salvage store, and there I found several amazing finds, including this 10 pound bag of rice for $2.50. And I also found this five pound bag of grits for $1.25. And I wanna make sure that I get the most out of my money and most out of my storage by vacuum sealing these things. So a couple of things that you need to know. One of those is that both the rice and the grits have been in my freezer for the last few days. I pulled them out yesterday and brought them to room temperature. And the reason for that is you wanna make sure that if there are any bugs or eggs, I know it sounds gross, but you know, it's just the nature of the beast. Um, if there are any things like that, you wanna be able to kill them before you put them in your food storage. So that's exactly what I did. So what I'm gonna be using for this is the Food Saver 3880 series that I have an affiliate link in the description box below if you wanna know what kind of food saver I have. It was a gift to me from my parents a few years ago. And recently I just purchased the attachments, the jar attachments that you use to actually vacuum seal jars. And I am so excited. I couldn't wait to try it. So I've already tried a few things that I already had. Um, but I'm just gonna show you, it's so simple, you guys, and you really prolong your food storage by using this. So it really is an investment in uh, your family, your household. The attachment, I got the regular mouth size and the wide mouth size. Um, it came together in a kit along with an extra hose and it cost me about $18. So totally worth it and so excited to have it. So like I said, my food has already been uh, in the freezer for a few days to kill the bugs. It's been brought to room temperature. Also, all of the jars that I'm gonna be using have been washed and sanitized as well as my lids and bands. You just wanna make sure that everything is clean. That way you know that there's no bacteria bacteria or anything that is going to ruin your food. I'm gonna bring you in and I'm gonna show you how these attachments work. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so since I like to save my wide mouth jars for things like pickles, you know, large uh, items, um, I'm going to be using my regular mouth size jars. So I just need my regular mouth size uh, vacuum sealer attachment. I'm also going to be using a canning funnel just to make sure that I get everything in the jar and not all over my counter. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour my rice into my jar and I'm gonna leave an inch of head space. So on my food saver, the attachment hose is actually located at the bottom right. And all I have to do is pull this out like this. Okay, so to get this going, we've got our jar attachment. And then here I'm gonna take the accessory hose. I'm gonna place it in that hole and then I'm gonna give it a push and a twist until the little notches on the black part touch the lid. That way I know it's on there nice and secure. And as you can see, I already have my lid on my mason jar and I'm going to put the jar attachment right over top. And you're just gonna put it all, push it all the way until it's secure. And then on my food saver, I'm gonna turn it on I'm going to turn it on. And then right here it says accessory. When I push this button, it's going to suck all of the air out of my jar and create a vacuum seal. So here we go. <laughs> Now that it's done, it turned itself off, and I'm just going to gently twist and lift the accessory hose out of my lid, and then you're going to gently pull this off, 
And to make sure that this is on good and tight, you wanna press on it and lift. And I have excellent suction. So all of the air has been removed from my rice. And now this rice is going to last for a very, very long time. So what I'm going to do is I am going to write the date, today's date on my rice so that way I know when um, I sealed them. Now I already know how to prepare rice so I'm not gonna worry about putting the instructions. It's two to one, two cups of water to one cup of rice. Um, but if you are not familiar with how to uh, prepare rice, then you'll definitely want to keep the instructions or write them somewhere on the jar so that you have them. So I'm gonna do this with the rest of the rice and then I'm gonna do this with the grits and we'll come right back. Sorry about the mess in the back. I'm going to be canning here in a few minutes. But um, yeah, I was really excited to try my Food Saver attachments and really wanted to share it with you guys. I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm really excited about the future for my food storage. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And if, you, if you're interested in any of the products that I used in today's video, please be sure to check the affiliate links in the description box below. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Bye, y'all. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by Freedom Homestead. Here we're about living off the land, being together as a family. We homeschool our two children. We talk to you about our gardening adventures, how we preserve our own food and build our food storage. We live on a tight budget and we share with you our grocery hauls. I will even break out the cleaners and show you how I clean my house. So whether we're sharing with you our life, our love of liberty, or our love for each other, thanks so much for stopping by and please consider subscribing.